birthday. It's January 20th and you're 90 today. And if it were different times, we would all be together and we'd have had a major party and had a lot of fun and told lots of stories and remembered wonderful, wonderful times. Since we can't do that, we decided to do a little something else for you. Enjoy. Ron, I am so grateful that you are my brother. When I was in my early teens, you helped me to appreciate classical music, took me to the Royal Ballet, and treated me as an adult. When Vic and I were first together, you and Dorothy often had us for weekends, and I appreciated the support of both of you. Over the last eight or nine years, when I was first working in Kitchener and Guelph, we were able to visit more often. And since I retired, we have continued to stay in touch. I feel that we have grown much closer over these years. And I appreciate so much the conversations we've had about religion, spirituality, education, politics, and mostly family history. I hope that we have many more conversations and more birthdays to celebrate. I respect and love you and I admire you. Happy birthday. You are loved. Hey, Dad. Hey, Papa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. We miss you. We can't wait to be together sometime this year. I'm going to go to Stratford, play pool. Oh, I want to play pool again. <laughs> Cryptic crossword puzzles, Got great all my meals, <gasps> Hurley's corn. <laughs> Hurley's Papa, corn. Papa, you called it earlier to tell me when you were having Hurley's corn <laughs> to rub it in. If I remember right. So thanks. So thanks. Anyway, we love you. We wish we were together, but we're sending you a virtual hug. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Love you. Hi Ron, this is to wish you a happy 90th birthday, and rather than singing happy birthday, I thought I'd sing our favorite Christmas carol. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Happy 90th, Ron. <laughs> Hello, Ron. Ian and I understand that you are turning 90 years young, and we're delighted to be able to participate in the social distance celebration. We've always admired your grace, your wit, and your love of family, and we hope they are getting you through these trying times. We'll look forward to seeing you again in a few months, perhaps when we're both out for a neighborhood walk. And when the need for social distance visiting is over, please don't forget, I owe you a big birthday hug. Hello, Ron. It's been a lot of years since we climbed all the way up to the balcony at Center in the Square for some beautiful concerts with you and Dorothy, but lots of good memories. And yes, this is a, a particular birthday, we understand. 90 is something to be celebrated. And so we're there with you, thinking about you, and wishing you nothing but the very best of everything. Happy birthday, Ron. Happy birthday. Bye-bye. 
Hi, Ron. It's been over 30 years since I met you at the math contest camps at the University of Waterloo. The world has changed a lot in those decades at a seemingly increasingly accelerated pace. Taking joyful moments, albeit remotely, with family and friends is all the more important in these crazy times. Happy 90th birthday, Ron, and all the best for the coming years. Happy birthday, Papa. Have a wonderful 90th birthday. Thank you for all the stuff you did for me and the boys when we were younger. I'm sure Nana would be horrified at my grammar, but <laughs> love you and hope for many more. Happy birthday. Hello there, Ron Dunkley. This is Peter and Sharon Good. Cool. Wishing you a happy birthday from Oakville. Here's Sharon. She's going to also wish you a happy birthday. Hi, Cousin Ron. I'm, my memories of you go back a long way to when I used to go to Windsor with my mom and stay at Rama Valentine's, but played over at your house all the time with joy. And so I remember you coming and going to school. And then we remember all your accomplishments, so your your cornet playing and authoring a book and starting a, a math contest. But the biggest accomplishment was marrying Dorothy. That was a great accomplishment. We had a lot of fun at family picnics, catching up with your family and talking to her. Mm -hmm. So we hope you're going to have a great celebration. Yes, and I, I hope you're still having fun with prime numbers. I never really did figure out what a prime number was, but I know that uh, it's your favorite topic. So all the best. Happy birthday and many more years. Yes, happy birthday, Ron. Bye-bye. We're here to say happy birthday to a friend and a colleague in some ways, uh, a man who's celebrating 90 years of a happy and fulfilled life. I first met Ron in 1967, in the summer when I was training to begin teaching that fall. And Ron was the teacher of how to teach math. And I think that I was one of many, um, both that summer and in other summers where Ron taught in that teacher education program, who quickly found Ron to be a mentor and a model that we wanted to be able to teach in our classrooms, as well as he taught us how to teach. And imagine our gratitude and excitement many years later uh, when we reconnected uh, at the Church of St. John the Evangelist in Kitchener and have become good uh, friends, uh, enjoying each other's company, each other's families. And uh, we wish you, Ron, the very best as you celebrate this birthday, a, a marker in your life uh, and many more to come. I first met Ron when Paul reconnected uh, at St. John the Evangelist. And it didn't take very long before we were um, rekindling uh, Paul and Ron's um, uh, friendship. And I was included uh, with no problem, with no reservation. And um, I feel that it uh, wasn't very long before we were part of Ron's circle. And we were um, visiting back and forth and enjoying each other's company. And um, especially during this time where we're um, socially isolated, um, I appreciate um, the times that we've had with uh, Ron and miss the fact that I can't say, happy birthday, Ron, uh, on this special occasion. I would love to do that personally and give you a big hug. So we're both saying happy birthday, Ron, and may you be blessed uh, with uh, happiness uh, in years to come as well. Just uh, wanted to uh, wish you a very happy 90th birthday. My God, you are old. Anyway, I uh, just want you to know also that uh, I got my hair cut today. My wife cut my hair just for this. I put on my Waterloo math contest tie and here I am and uh, if um, 
if I tell you this, I hope you'll believe it. I went out in the bush today looking for blueberries. I wanted to send you a blueberry pie for your birthday, but I couldn't find any. Not like back in 1966, the summer of 66, when we had a delicious blueberry pie made from Kirkland Lake blueberries at your house in St. Mary's. Lots of great memories, my old friend. Anyway, that's uh, it for me. We uh, hope that someday we will, someday soon, we will see you again. So all the best to you. Take care. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. We just wanted to take a second to wish you a happy birthday, the big 9-0. We still talk about how you guys killed it on the dance floor at our wedding. You're a legend. We just wanted to send you our love. Happy birthday. Thank you, Ron. I just wanted to share some memories I have of you. Dressing up as a priest to remarry mom and dad on their 25th wedding anniversary trading jokes with my dad and Claude and Bob and Papere, picking me up from the bus station when I arrived to attend university, taking me to lunch in the staff dining room at, on Waterloo campus, your passion for playing the trumpet even if you had to travel hours in an evening to practice with others, and the way you so clearly loved Aunt Dorothy. Happy birthday, Uncle Ron. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ron, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a great day. Hi Ron, what's the big deal with this 90th birthday? It's not even a prime number, but what we do know is that the prime is actually you. We truly admire your independence, your energy, your sense of humor, not to mention your knowledge, your intelligence, all your accomplishments as an educator, a musician, a chef, a gardener, and many, many more, which we're probably not even aware of. You're a terrific neighbor and friend, and I must say I thoroughly enjoy our frequent conversations in front of our homes. We wish you good health, and happiness, Ron, as you move into your next decade of your life. Maybe suggest that at 95, you consider getting a mortar on your lawnmower, okay? We have a few years to discuss that, and we will. Take care, Ron, be safe, be well, and above all, be yourself. You are truly amazing. Now we're gonna sing you a little happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ron. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friends. Cheers. Cheers Happy 90th. Happy birthday. I was inspired by Don Cowan's 12 Days of Christmas, and I'm not sure if, if Ron is a, a fan of rap, but let's see what happens here. Hey, happy birthday now, and don't you know, Ron Dunkley is 90, and his age just doesn't show. In the 70s when I met him, he wore crazy plaids, but he never was one to go in for those fads. So he formed the CCC and the CEMC, and he even was the leader of the JMC. It seems so short since you were 80, but 80 plus 10, I guess that does give 90. So Richard and Lorraine and all of the Clausies say, Happy birthday, Ron. You are one terrific Matthews. You are one terrific mentor, a friend, an OF, and an inspiration to us all. And a short little story. Uh, when Omi had their conference in Waterloo back in 1983, Ron thought it'd be great to put a few, few guys together and maybe have a little band so we could play in the background. In any case, we did not have time to practice. There was no time. So he said, Rich, we're going to sound so bad 
that we better dress funny so nobody thinks we're serious. Looking ahead, Ron, as always. Anyway, best wishes. Happy, happy birthday. Hi, Ron. Just dropping by to wish you happy birthday. We, we remember that in the last century you played at our wedding. It did me. And it was beautiful. And in many other accomplishments which you uh, achieved through your brilliance and your ingenuity. So we, we do want, hope that this next decade will be just as great. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. From your untechy old yeah. cousins. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. Hi, Ron. David and Nancy Matthews here. We want to wish you warmest birthday greetings on the occasion of your 90th and, coincidentally, Nancy's 65th as well. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ron. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ron. Happy birthday to you. Are you 10? Are you 20? Are you 30? Are you 40? Are you 50? Are you 60? Are you 70? Are you 80? Are you 90? Stop! Yay! Congratulations. Happy birthday from your neighbors next door. We love being your neighbor and we're so thrilled that you're turning 90. How wonderful. And thank you for being a great neighbor to live beside for the last 15 years. Take care, Ron. Have a great Happy birthday. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, I want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday um, to the man who braved a horrible snowstorm in Canada to bring saltine crackers to me in England when I couldn't eat anything when I was pregnant. So that is a very, very good man, and I still remember you doing that for me. Um, and also asking me to stand with your daughter Michelle when the van came to take you all back to home you you know and you knew Michelle would be upset and I thought okay I will be there for your daughter and be strong and I will take care of her and having to say goodbye to my family all the time when we lived in in England I got so upset, <laughs> I just started to sob, and you're, <laughs> you turned around in the van and you looked at me, and you were like, no, um, but Michelle helped me out, and um, I don't know what I would do without your daughter. She's been such a good friend for a very, a very, very long time. So. Anyway, have a great birthday from, from Suzanne and Brian and our daughter Mallory from Seattle. Much love to you and have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, Ron. Ian Vanderberg here to wish you a happy 110th birthday, at least if we count in base nine. You are truly an inspiration to all of us from your visionary work to set up what turned into the CEMC to the length of time and the amount of energy you devoted to that over the years. Thank you for everything that you have done and continue to do. I enjoy seeing you. I enjoy our conversations about mathematics and about music and about life. Thank you. Happy birthday again, and I hope to see you soon. Happy 90th, Ron. Congratulations. 90 is an impressive number, not only in years, but also because it's the only positive integer less than 100 that has exactly 12 factors, none of which is 12. Now math has been a big part of your life, so it's fitting that your birth year is a prime and that this year your birthday, January 20th, 2022,
21, that's 1, 20, 20, 21, is a palindrome. So let's get this pandemic behind us so we can meet again in person at Old Farts, the symphony, contest, marking, and other places to share stories, to discuss music, books, and plays, and to generally just solve all the problems of the world. Happy 90th, Baron. Stay safe, and I hope to see you soon. Peter was very excited when I told him he could have his single malt scotch whiskey tonight. But when I told him that it was to celebrate Ron Dunkley's birthday, he was even more excited. Cheers to 90 years, Ron. Happy birthday. We are so happy that we get to celebrate with you. Happy birthday, Papa. 90 years old and you're better shape than me. Cousin Ron, you probably haven't had a police officer wish you a happy 90th birthday yet. I am. Mark Valentine, son of Mary and David, grandson of Harold and Phyllis, wishing you all the best for this very special day. It's a milestone. We love you. We hope you have a great day. Take care. Hi, Uncle Ron. Um, just wanted to send you a quick birthday message. Um, sorry we can't all be there in person, but hopefully sometime we can celebrate all together. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you have a great day and uh, love you very much and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ron. You have always been special to me in the 50 years that I've known you. I knew you first through math at U of W and also music at U of W and our church, Christ Lutheran Church, which met at the seminary chapel at WLU. You always loved music. You were fun. You were smart, intelligent, and I always appreciated playing piano for you when you played trumpet at our church. And then there's the Camp Tewingo connection. You and your beautiful girls and Dorothy were there and we all loved Camp Tewingo together. Jack Pierce was a mutual friend. Um, and since then, I've seen you at symphony concerts lots of times and we always talk and you're just a bright spot in my life. So it's a pleasure to wish you a happy birthday, a happy 90th. And since you're a great trumpeter, I'm going to play for you the piano version of Bugler's Holiday by Leroy Anderson. Hi, Uncle Ron. This is Judith. Just wishing you a happy 90th birthday. Hope you have a great time celebrating with all these videos and pictures. And this is your young sister-in-law. Younger than you anyway. But here we are and I'd like to wish you a very happy 90th birthday and many more. Okay. See you later. Have a great time. Have a great time. Bye. This is for Uncle Ron for his 90th birthday. Uh, Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Uncle Ron. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Mr. Dunkley, Lovey and I want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. Hi, Mr. Dunkley. Giuseppe and I would like to wish you a very, very, very happy birthday. 
Um, as you can see, the farm that uh, the CMC purchased for our, uh, as a wedding gift, still hangs proudly in our living room. And um, I am wearing my Waterloo sweatshirt. So, you know, lots of really great memories. Unfortunately, due to COVID, Giuseppe and I are uh, geographically separated. He's in Bermuda and I am in Connecticut. But you know what? Um, all is well. And we wish you a fabulous, fabulous birthday with lots of love and hugs and uh, celebration all around. Ron just wanted to say happy birthday and as you celebrate your 90th, um, hopefully we'll get to see one another again sometime soon, although uh, with gatherings being the way they are or aren't, uh, that might be a little while, but have a great day. Best. John Jorgensen. I understand it's a special day, and as usual, your family has conspired to create something special. So they've reached out to let us know, and we are in turn responding to wish you well. Hope your birthday is a wonderful one. I'm in a special spot. I hope you'll remember it. And as each of us uh, grows uh, older, and scruffier. It's, it's good to remember that some places remain constant and some memories remain as they have always remained. I can reach back to my first years at camp and when the Dunkley family made me feel welcome at Camp Tuingo. And it is a, a time that really has affected me for the rest of my life and impacted me with the type of message that you have ingrained into your family and friends. I'm grateful for that and I am happy to take this time right now just to show you what I know is still alive in your memory. So I'm just going to reposition for that. Since the last time you were here, we installed a plaque, a quote from Jack that says, we can make a difference, you and I, we can make a difference if we try. And you have in your family and in the gifts you've given to friends as well. So here we go. It remains strong, remains beautiful, and it's still here for a visit any time you or your family wish to come. Happy birthday, friend. All the best. Hello, Ron. Happy birthday and greetings from Worcester. Hope you have a lovely day. It's a great shame your family won't be with you, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it anyway. And well done on getting to 90. Chris and I send our very best wishes. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, Ron. It's Paula Nowak from St. Mary's, Ontario. Happy 90th birthday. I wanted to take the time to extend my gratitude for the kindness and generosity that you and Dorothy extended to me during my years at the University of Waterloo. I'm so grateful that I became friends with Michelle and that I was invited over to your home for many meals, many dinners, lots of laughter and fun, many great discussions. I also enjoyed our time at CORE and that was a great experience for me as well. Have a great birthday, have a beautiful year, and may your year be blessed with deep peace and abundant joy. And I look forward to when we meet again. Many blessings and with love, take care. Happy birthday, Ron. Congratulations on 90 years. 
I am privileged to be your son-in-law. This past year has been kind of a rough year here at our home with me being sick with COVID for a number of months. But every day I waited for your phone call. The talk that we had, whether it was short or long, you gave me the encouragement to be better. And you've also given me the courage to be a better person. Again, I am honored. Congratulations on your 90th birthday. Love you. And we hope to see you soon. Again, happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Ron. Uh, congratulations on this milestone. And thanks again for doing so much for young mathematicians in Canada. The camps I attended were an enormous influence in my life. And I know for so many other kids. Happy birthday, Papa. Hope that we can get together and enjoy some time together. I love you, and I hope you have a great year. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Dick and Jane here. We're wishing you a good day. Uh, doing some mathematics, we uh, figured out Waski being 50 years old, we've known you and all the kids, and we've all grown up together in the last 50 years. Anyway, if you are uh, if you can make it, come over by the fire pit, and we'll buy you a scotch. All the best. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Papa. 25 looks good on you. There's one thing I'm grateful for is learning how to play pool from the master himself. Still haven't been beat. I cannot wait to get back to playing pool with you. I miss you the most. Happy birthday. It's Joanne and Susan contacted us, so I have something to share with you. Growing up in Kapiskasi, I always admired and looked up to Dorothy. And one day we were told that she was bringing a boyfriend up to the cottage to meet us. Now, I remember walking to the end of the long dock that was between the two cabins, and you at the end of the dock with uh, Dorothy and other people, but I was wondering how or if any boy could possibly be good enough for my cousin. But after talking to you for a while, it soon became evident that you could make Dorothy laugh, and that was it. You passed the test, and you were good enough. Now, I know that you continue to be good enough in both your personal and professional life, and that is what we wish for you today. We wish you many more years of doing what you do best. We wish you health and happiness in a COVID-free world. So, happy 90th birthday, Ron. Thank you for your time. Happy birthday, Papa. Hope it's the best one yet. And I thought I should also let you know that Shuffleboard Canada has been reaching out to me and that they are demanding a rematch for the finals that took place a couple years ago. I'll see you soon. And once again, happy birthday. Uh, good morning, Ron. This is my chance to say enormous congratulations to you on your coming big celebration of the 9-0 birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Unfortunately, um, with what's going on at this point in the COVID crisis, you're not probably going to be surrounded by your two wonderful daughters and your grandchildren. But if you have learned how to use Zoom, then you'll have a, at least that sort of time. I realize you're 
somewhat technically challenged on occasion. Uh, anyway, enough of these snide comments. I just wanted to send along my enormous warm congratulations and um, maybe a, a small story is in order. And you may not remember, but many, many years ago, you were at Preston High School and uh, you had come down with a couple of the fellows to, to do a problem seminar. And when uh, the seminar was over, you came to my office and uh, I guess you said to me something to the effect, uh, you look rather glum, Gord, what's wrong? And I said, well, Ron, um, I got the news yesterday that uh, the calculus book that I had been working on for a year and a half with uh, one of the major publishing companies they decided to uh, terminate the contract because I was not producing material fast enough in the final phase uh, so that they could start um, printing. And it's extremely disappointing, but uh, I tell you, I, I worked as hard as I could and I just could not keep up with uh, what they wanted in terms of uh, a timeline. Uh, you offered me your condolences and uh, Suggested that yes, but there'll be better days coming and uh, uh, You know keep up the good work of what you're doing and um, That was it you left shortly after but the the follow-up was that about uh, I can't remember how many weeks it was. Let's just say several weeks later You got me on the phone and you said Gord said um, We're putting together a team to produce a calculus book and we would like you to be part of it and I must admit I was both flabbergasted and really, really excited that uh, I was going to have the opportunity to, first of all, join with a team from the people at the University of Waterloo, and then secondly, to be able to begin to reuse uh, a lot of the work that I had done and, and put it into the, the book that eventually did come out, and as I understand it was really quite a success in the province of Ontario. Anyway, that's my little story for um, this celebration. Um, I'm sure I could tell many more, uh, but that is a story that I think portrays Ron Dunkley as a fellow that had a really big heart and uh, an understanding and a, a level of support for the people that he knew and worked with that was just truly astonishing. And I want to thank you so much. Once again, I wish you absolutely an enormously wonderful 90th birthday. Bye for now. Okay. Ron. Hi, Ron. We haven't been able to get together for a few years, but we have fond memories of our times together. You joined um, the Queen's get-togethers as you married our friend Dorothy. You and I were fellow Western grads, so I had to smooth over your rough edges so you could uh, fit in. But one of my best memories of you is you played the starring role in the Oscar-nominated film Home for the Holidays, and you played the Salvation Army trumpeter, and you turned down many uh, movie awards, as I understand. <laughs> anyway, uh, fond memories, and uh, happy birthday, Ron, and we'll hoist one to you tonight. And from from me as well. I'm so I'm we have such happy memories of you and Dorothy and all the fun queens to get get togethers and uh, we just Happy birthday, Ron. Hard to believe that you're ninety. It's uh it, it's such an auspicious occasion as you can see I got dressed up for the first time, perhaps in uh Forever, it seems, it seems, but I think maybe just for most of the last year. Um, <clears throat> listen, I remember many good times, Ron, especially at the uh, Waterloo Math Foundation and, of course, working together with you as, uh, <clears throat> in the dean's office for, uh, for eight years. Um, <clears throat> I, I do remember the Friday afternoon happy hour, which we used to have primarily in your office so we could be near your cadenza, which had the faculty stash of, of alcohol. Um, it was great working with you, Ron. It's great, been great to know you, and uh, I wish you all the best for uh, your 90th birthday. Ron. Happy birthday, Ron.
they were on, um, to a guy who's no longer in his prime and a non-prime year. How about that? that? Took a little help from Jack to be sure about that non-prime stuff. Ron, when I think of you, um, one of the things that comes to mind, right first and foremost, is your incredible optimism and your we can do it attitude. This I remember well as we worked on um, some joint ventures with the college um, at a time when the college and the universities really did not cooperate fully. Um, it always felt to me like I had an advocate at the University of Waterloo and that we might be able to do something collectively. Another thing I remember, um, Ron, it makes me smile, is Shirley Thompson's absolute determination that you were going to switch your lexicon from using ladies to women. Ron don't know whether you ever made that transition or if it really ever really mattered, but it certainly was fun to watch um, you resist and um, Shirley to persist. Again, happy birthday. Um, we miss you. Um, and maybe someday they'll let us back into Canada after this COVID um, thing is all over. Thanks for the friendship. Bye, Ron. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ron. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> happy birthday, Ron. We are so happy to celebrate your many years of wonderful life. Yeah. And all the great times we had together. And hope we hopefully will in 21. Happy birthday, Ron. I can't think of anyone who more deserves to be 90 years old than you. Well, hello, Ron, and happy birthday. Uh, if I haven't said it before, I want to thank you so much for being so important at a crucial moment in my life. Uh, in particular, it was you who convinced me to go into mathematics as an undergrad at Waterloo. And now here I am doing at the University of Alberta doing uh, fluid dynamics and quite enjoying my career. Uh, so thanks again for that. Uh, also, you continue to be an inspiration, 90 years old and going strong. Well done, Ron. Thanks again and happy birthday. Take care. Happy birthday, Ron. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for all your support over the years for Brady's Meat. We look forward to serving you for many more to come. Hope you have an amazing day. All the best and many happy returns from everybody at Brady's. Take care.
It's on. Okay. Okay. Maybe Stanley Han. Okay. Sing again, Beck. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Yay! What did you call it? No, no, it's a friend. No, I have not. I can't sing. Okay, well, I. Oil. One, two, three. Oil sign of Andrigan, of Andrigan, of Bra. Oil sign of Andrigan, of Andrigan, of Bra. Oil sign of Andrigan, of Andrigan, of Bra. Say, I'll kay, I'll kay, I'll. Queen's Queen, 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 Yet another victory to wipe away the stakes. So boys go in and win. Singing! Oil tied of Andrigan, of Andrigan, the bra. Oil tied of Andrigan, of Andrigan, the bra. Oil tied of Andrigan, of Andrigan, the bra. K, I'll, K, I'll, K, I'll. Win, win, win. Oil tied.